I failed. Alrighty, outrageous ones. How are you today? I hope you are wonderful. This is Candace from Stay Outrageous. And I want to talk to you today about failing. That's right. Day 18 of the new year. And I have already failed. I've been talking about planning. I've been talking about word of the year. I've been talking about habits and taking that one step forward. And I've already done it. I, I started, I started hard and I've already failed. Let me explain. I discovered Andy Frazella and his website and his podcast and his challenge. And he has a challenge called the hard 75. Okay. It's not 75 things that you do. So don't get all crazy. It's really, really simple. And it is just, it's simple, common sense things. And there are only five of them. Five things. That's not that hard. So first of all, you have to follow a structured diet. Your diet is geared towards your goals. So we're not talking restricting calories or whatever. You really want to diet to fuel yourself not just something that you have to suffer through. And I'll explain more about that in a few minutes. But you follow a structured diet geared towards your goals. There are zero deviations, zero cheat days, and zero alcohol. Zero. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is you're supposed to do two 45 minute workouts a day. And one of those has to be outside, no matter the weather, no matter if you feel like it or not, but 45 minutes outside and 45 minutes of exercise beyond that. The third thing is to drink a gallon of water. I already have my water jug and I realize that goes to 75 ounces. So I need to up that a little bit. And I already do because I have started a new habit of putting a glass of water by my bed and I've got one of those 32 ounce tumblers. So I fill it with water. I do like a half a teaspoon of sea salt and a squeeze of a quarter of a lemon. And when I wake up in the morning, that's one of the first things I do. And let me tell you, it has made the biggest difference in my morning for, you know, peeling my tongue off of the roof of my mouth and just being dry from sleeping. Uh, and even though I'm drinking my gallon of water, I still need that water in the morning. So you drink a gallon of water. Fourth thing, read 10 pages. Nonfiction, educational, something that's pushing you further towards your goals. That one is a no-brainer for me. I do that anyway. And lastly, take a progress picture every day. Every day. So, you yeah. know. I thought I could do that. You do it for 75 days. And if you mess up, then you have to start all over again. That's it. You can't miss one thing. You have to start all over again. So I, I was like, I could do this. I can do this. And I even, I did a poster. Look, this sits on my desk. I did it out 75 days and I color everything. And I added some more things to my routine, things that I wanted to get done. So I've just been tracking that as well. So really, it would only be five things if you were just doing the hard 75, but I'm tracking some other things as well. And so, you know, I would get my marker and I would come down here and I would just zip, zip, zip and mark all my stuff off and mm, I'm something. And then one day I failed to plan and my plan failed. I got up to nine days, which, yeah, nine days is good. Not great, but it's nine days until I missed a workout. And let me just say, for those first nine days, I felt invincible. At the end of the day, I was a rock star because I was checking all these things off and I'm getting them done. And I'm really excited about it. And I didn't, I didn't want to do that second workout. The walking was fine. You know, that's like, but plug in my audiobook and go, and I'm good to go. 
But sometimes that second, I, I would psych myself out of it, to be honest. I would just make it such a big deal. And then I would end up rushing to get it done. So that one thing in my plan really tripped me up. Even though I failed at day 10, I want to talk to you about what was good about this because some good things came from this, some great realizations in those first nine days. Winston Churchill said, never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. And that is the truth. Even though I have missed that workout, this is, it's kind of how I think about my day. I think about, you know, I want to get these things done. I want to get these things done. It's not, I've got to, I want to. And when I started off, these are some benefits right off the bat that I noticed. So 45 minutes of exercise every day. Three or four of those days were with weights. The other days, I picked DVDs that I had not seen, and I started pulling things out, and I had fun. I really did. I was about to die at the end of some of them, but I had fun. It was exhilarating. And it was just, you know, I really kicked myself for, for stopping, but that's one thing I noticed right off the bat. Even though those first few minutes I was grumpy about getting it done, when I got into it, the 45 minutes just flew. I loved every minute of it. I have eaten more fresh food, fresh, delicious, nutritious food than I have eaten in a long time. And I'm talking about a huge plate full of food. I used two really great resources. I found Tom Benuto's book, Burn the Fat, Feed the Muscle. And I started off originally listening to this as an audiobook, And there was so much good information in it that I bought it for myself because this really makes it simple. If you're trying to decide how many calories you need to eat, your macros, your proteins, your carbohydrates, your fats, he really breaks it down so well. And so this is kind of being my guidebook and I've got, you know, he's got some recipes in it. He's got some exercises and things, but to me, it was just a great, this is just a great resource that I go back to when I am adjusting or when I'm, you know, just working on getting my food straight or working on getting my body measurements and my percentages right. So burn fat, feed the muscle has been a great resource. And another thing that I love is the Lose It app. There are lots of apps for tracking your nutrition. My friend told me about Lose It and she used it. So I started using it. And it's great for logging in your food. And when you're starting off working on a diet plan or working on your nutritional plan, you wanna measure your food because you really wanna know how much of things you're putting in your body. And I can go to my day and I can see how many calories and then I can swipe and I can see my macros. So I can really see how many grams of protein, how many grams of carbs and how many grams of fat I have eaten that day. And that to me is just an eye opener because you know sometimes we really don't think about what we put in our bodies and how much we eat and how much we partake of things. And when you really start looking at it, you don't look at food as I'm being deprived of something. It's like, I need more of this to fuel my body. And you start to notice as your day goes by what you need and you start to listen to your body. So that has been a wonderful thing. The other thing is I have found, well, I love it anyway, but I love walking outside every day. I don't care what the weather is. I have loved it. I have walked in the rain. I have walked in the snow. I walk in the freezing cold. I, I just, I walk all the time. I have these um, outer layers called frog togs. And I'll put a picture up, boop, 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 right here of me and my gorgeous frog togs. Now, they don't make me runway ready. Not at all. But I can put multiple layers on and put this thin, these thin little frog togs on top of them. 
and it keeps me dry and it keeps me cozy. And it, it it's just been wonderful. And when I don't walk, I get really antsy. Like I need to get outside and get my walk in. It's, it's very meditative for me. I'm either listening to an audiobook, which has been a game changer. I even carry around a little notepad and a pencil in there. So if I have one of those aha moments or something I want to go back and read over or check into, I just scribble it down while I'm walking or I'll stop and scribble it down and then keep walking. And it's been great. But I also just love being outside and just noticing things. You know, it's, it's gorgeous out there. So that, that has been a wonderful thing. Also, taking a, taking a photo every day is very humbling, very humbling. And it, it's also very frustrating because in nine days, I'm not, you know, I didn't see a lot of progress. It's not like anything really changed. It was kind of the same thing. But I'm looking forward to seeing, I have made a, a table in Google Docs and I'm gonna throw the pictures in there every day so I can see progress and I can see where I started and where I'm going to end up. And I'm looking forward to that end and then maintaining it. Another thing that I have found is I don't miss alcohol. I purposely started the Hard 75 January 2nd because we were going off with friends. And I figured, you know, we would probably have champagne for New Year's. And so, you know, I had maybe a drink and, and that was it. But I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. It's not something that I reach for. It's not anything that, you know, we feel like we're missing out on. Uh, it's, that's been fine. It hasn't been a big deal. The last thing I've learned is I must schedule my workouts and I must honor my schedule to myself. I am going to be having an interesting week. I'm going to start a new job working part-time and I have hours all different times each day. So I'm not going to have the same schedule every day. So I'm going to have to plan accordingly and get those workouts in, whether that's going to the gym, whether that's doing yoga with Adrian, whether that's pulling out some of the equipment that I have here, whatever, I'm going to plan it out and I'm going to get it done. My goal is to be healthy, energetic, and independent for all of my days. When I am in my 80s and if you know, God willing, in my 90s, I want my children to be mad because they can't keep up. But in order to do that, my actions have to marry with my goal. And that's, that's what I got to work on, the intensity of focusing on those goals. Thomas Edison said, one of our greatest weaknesses lies in giving up. And the most certain way to succeed is always to just try one more time. So it may be one more time, it may be more than one more time, but I'm going to finish the hard 75. And I hope, folks, that you will help keep me accountable. I haven't said anything about this. I was gonna keep it to myself and work on it, but I really think I need the accountability. So I'm putting it out there and I'm hoping you're gonna keep me accountable. I will post things on Instagram and I will post things. I'll give a progress update later on. Hopefully, I, well, not hopefully. I'm going to make it past nine days. And I'm going to take this as far as I can. And I'm going to get to day 75. I thank Andy Frazella for this. And it, I really suggest, highly suggest you into, in, listen to his podcast and his reasoning behind it. Get yourself some good resources and some good tools. Really think about how you're going to map this out if you want to do it or whatever your challenge is. If you are challenging yourself, I would love to hear about it. And I would also love it if you would subscribe and become part of this community. I am hoping my goal is to help you and me become the most outrageous people that we can be and live our most outrageous life every single day. And I hope you'll join me. Take care, stay outrageous, and I'll see you next time.